I don't know that I fixed last week's edit before I posted it. Did, did you watch oh, last week? Oh, well, I did not yet. No, I don't <laughs> I don't man. I'm no longer associated with the school at the current moment. I am just representing me, myself, and I. I have never said anything I do is PG. And welcome to this episode of Essie and Scrappy. I'm Scrappy. Jason <laughs> Fulmore here. Leave that in. I don't care. Leave that in. Who cares? <clears throat> yeah, I just don't know because um Lucas had a few bloopers last week before we started, and I hope I pulled that out before we started. But anyway. Today we are talking duels, and we are we're not only going to talk NHSCA duels. Um, we're going to probably ruffle a few feathers uh, with an idea after NHSCA duels with um, a conversation of dual teams from this past school or past season. So we'll get to that in a second. Hey, Let's we'll start get there with when we get there. Let's start with NHSCA duels. Um, there were six teams, I think, that were predominantly Southeast teams. And just so everybody knows, they are currently sitting in the semifinals. We are recording this on Monday. So, like, we record every Monday. Um, they're sitting in the semifinals. I think Tennessee Wrestling Academy just lost to Team Shut Mutts. Is that right? Yeah, shut mutts. Shut mutts. Um, and kind of got hammered by the shut mutts, who are a fantastic team. Um, so, and then we had combat from North Carolina, uh, Morris Fitness Dynasty, Storm out of Georgia, Miami Elite out of Florida, 540 Brawlers, which was a combination of Virginia and Southeast. And then... We had a whole host of hired guns. Right? Go, hey, go, go where you could get a championship. I'm not mad at it. Hell, so, I was gonna be, I was gonna be on Kong COVID year. Hell. So my question is, as it relates to hired guns, and I don't know that this happened at all, but I have seen, I have been, I was sent names being on particular teams, and then when we get to the actual event, they're on different teams. And my question is, is let, let's say you're on a team and then another spot comes available on a better team. I know you're there to get competition, but you made a commitment to your team. I think time matters. Like, like let's say you committed to a team and it's a month and a half out and one of these top 10 teams calls your name. I think there should be a conversation had between you and the coach of like, look, this is a team. I could really get better on because I could go match up with some of these top 10 guys in the country. But if it's, you know, a couple of days out, th 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 then you then you rock with the team that you're committed to. That's my – if you guys don't know, which when I say this, there might be some gasps from the audience, I'm about doing things professionally. There is a professional <laughs> way to do that. J oh, you. There's a way to do things professionally. And to me, one of those is timeliness. So if I'm going to commit to something – I just feel like it's one of the things where every situation is different. I, I agree in that, in that you, you arrive at the event, you don't, you don't switch things up. That, that is leaving somebody and a team in a, a position. And what we saw was certainly the teams at the top. I don't know if they had any changes or not, but, but they're full teams. Whereas the teams that teams struggled as a team, they had a few holes here and there. Now, maybe they came in holes with holes. Yeah, you, you or never maybe know, but... somebody cherry picked, you know, and put together a better team or I think whatever. If you look at those top 10, top 12 teams, if you see a name that's out of place, go look at where that out of place name is from and just take a gander at the teams from that region and you might be able to start piecing together. Because this happened the year I went to NHSDA duels where there were deals being made at weigh-ins of of what I saw a kid or I don't want to say I saw it, but I saw a coach from I forget the team it was a team that was good like top eight you know whatever go up to a kid then go up to the dad the kid had weighed in with another team and then all of a sudden I saw him that next day in that other might have been like Virginia uh Predators it might have been Predators um mm. 
it might have been, and I love I love the Predators, so don't nobody from Predators yell at me and say, "Oh, we didn't steal anyone." I'm I'm just because this could have been the previous regime as well, because I come from the generation of wrestling Luke Grubbs on Virginia Predators, but um, it might have been them, might have been Michigan Maulers. I forget the gimmick, but I saw someone swindle an athlete from another team. I watched it my own two eyes. Yeah, and and I don't. I I mean, I I don't. It, it has an impact. It has not just an impact on the team. It has an impact on the individuals because if let's say you're a good wrestler on that team and now it gets cherry picked, but you don't get cherry picked. Now you're wrestling against teams where you might be getting a couple of forfeits. You might be getting this. You're in the consolation bracket. You're not facing the level of exactly. competition that you wanted to face. It absolutely. It, it, it puts everything on its head for sure. All right. So combat, I think um, was five and two. They All lost right. this Team, team <laughs> shut Penguin um, in the round of 64. Some good wrestlers there. Bentley Sly, Jalen Culp, Damian Couture um, were all wrestled really well. But Kevin O'Brien, um, I think, and again, everybody needs to like just give us a little bit of leeway because if you haven't gone in to Flow Arena and tried to follow what the records were for every single one of these kids. Jason you deserves lose, a medal for even trying. You would Y'all lose don't your understand. Mind. Y'all don't understand. Jason deserves a medal. I think there was like somewhere in the range of 64 frontside pools. Pools. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 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 Jason deserves a medal for even making I, the I, effort. I, I, I try I tried. I tried, but I could have missed I, I could have missed a couple of kids. So keep that so in this mind. This is where this is where track wrestling is demonstrably superior to Flow Arena. Th- yes. This is where in situations like this, where I understand why Flow Arena is more widely. I do understand why, right? But in a situation like this, this is where track beat the door hinges off the of flow arena. Yeah, well, in keep in, in terms of keeping track of statistics and all those different things and everything else, certainly track is far better. And you know, speaking of which, wasn't flow arena supposed to go away? Wasn't wasn't that the conversation? I thought that was the gimmick where it would be flow streaming uh, with track like bracket platform that's what i thought was the gimmick that's what i thought too all right so um morris fitness dynasty uh was six and two they lost to tennessee um in the round of 32 39 16 um again some good southeast versus southeast matchups we saw ethan urachek beat durbin carpenter um we saw marley washington beat malachi puckett but i'll tell you what on that morris fitness team bradley patterson He's a hammer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Former team fans grabbing member Bradley Patterson. Get that right. Uh, yeah. But, but yeah, no, nah, he's a hammer. That that kid is the truth. And he only gets – and every time you see him, he gets better. He's never stagnant. And that's that's clear. He's always getting better in his training. Uh, Tennessee Wrestling Academy, um, they were uh, – they just lost um, to Team Shut Mutts. Uh, but – but you know, you on that team, you could talk about the Yorichucks, you could talk about the Normans, you could talk about a lot of different people. I'm gonna throw out a couple other names that I saw. One, Mason Jacob beat Ricky Springs from Pres- Prestige Worldwide, um, and, and also at what three times South Carolina State champ, one zero. So that would be a match I would definitely want to catch. Yeah. And then, and then two names that you might not know a whole lot about. Noah Watkins down at 106, Tyson Russell up 285, uh, Tyson Russell being a Cleveland wrestler. Um, I think they both wrestled pretty well as far as the weekend goes too, especially as far as, far as Tennessee Wrestling Academy went. And they put together a squad. Yeah, no, no they, 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 they put together a team. Yeah, and those were, I, I, I think all of them were Tennessee kids. Yeah, at least as far as I knew. Right. So, and, you know, Morris Fitness Dynasty, I think they brought in a Simon from Alabama. They they might have had a couple other kids. But for the most part, they were a Georgia team, as was the team from Storm um, and Georgia. Although one of their, their wrestlers that I thought wrestled really well was an Alabama kid, and that's Brady Campbell. Yeah. Um, Brady Campbell, Gray Richardson. Russell 224 Storm. And I don't, 
I'm not sure I know who Gray Richardson is. <laughs> but he wrestled well. Um, I don't know if he was one of those that they added on and, you know, boom, you know, went well. Because 220 he might, he might be a hired gunner. He might just be a Gerald Carr built in a lab project that we just don't know about. There you go. Um, you had Ty Murray, Max MacArthur, Secoy had a good match against Gianni Maldonado, Xander Dossett. Yeah, down in Miami Elite, um, you had a really good kid by the name of Myron Mendez up at 285. And I'll tell you what, you can't – if you can get yourself a 195, a 220, a 285 for a duels, just like down at six, man, I'll tell you what, you could do some damage. Those are the weights that you want to have. Yeah, if you could get yourself a dog at those weights at an event like this, because mind you, ladies and gentlemen, it's the end of May. If you're a high-level football player, this could be – I remember Tamari Fox would never go to NHSCA duels. Shout-out to him. He got drafted by the Raiders. Shout-out my boy Tamari. Oh, did he? Um, yeah, he got, I think, like, fourth or fifth round. Like, like, like was drafted. Like, you know, that's my dog. So I'm always happy to see Tamari. Uh, do well. That's Colin so for life. Uh, but at any rate, end of May, you know, they start getting back into summer training and stuff of that nature. So this is kind of a situation where if you can get a stud at those upper weights, you're 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 doing good for yourself. That's true. All right, so let's talk about a few names that were, and there were a lot of them. There were a lot of names picked up from the southeast to put on different squads. Is there a couple uh, hired guns that you, you were paying attention to? Um, This is where I, I must go back to Flow Arena because um, there were some I, I noticed, but there weren't some that I – because, yeah, I remember I also uh, – for those who don't know, if you can't tell, the, the posters are off the wall. My mother and I are getting ready to move this weekend. So oh. I have been running around like a chick on my head cut off as opposed to, you know, normal, normal. which is similar. Uh, <laughs> so I saw Anderson Heap, right? Johnny Malnado, obviously from Florida. CJ Torres from Florida. Um, Malcolm uh, Burris. Malcolm Shout Burris. Him. Yeah, Malcolm Burris from the state of Georgia. Um, definitely one to watch. Um, you know, just a couple of of results that I saw. Zachary Little beat Yannick Simon three two. That was a match. Johnny Baldonado beat Anton Glasgow 2 1. One match. Um, Evan Petrovich, he's from um, Quest. He beats Anderson Heap 3 1. And for Heap, that's a really good match. Uh, it, hanging in with a guy like Petrovich out of Pennsylvania, who is super, super tough. So, so shout out to Heap there in that one. That, that, that's a good result for him. And then you had what Christian Fretwell and Talon Maple on Alien UFO. Um, Luke Myhan from um, Tennessee was up on uh, up at uh, play or wrestled for Flicker Boys certified. Um, Jack Hardy stud out of North Carolina. He was on a, a team as well. And then a Georgia kid, um, Danny what Crutellis? Is that how you say Danny's last name? I believe I believe it's cr it's. I think it's Crutless, actually. I need to talk to him next time I go out that way because I'm not sure. Yeah, uh, so he, he wrestled really well. Um, I don't remember which team he was on. Oh, he was on Quest Black. Yeah. So You, you mentioned Yannick beating Malachi Pocket, right? Uh, I didn't. Yannick beat Malachi Pocket? 9-4. Okay. So, you know what? He took care of business there. No doubt. No doubt. Well, and you had some Baylor kids. You had Puckett. You had um, the Normans and that sort of thing. Um, it was interesting to to see the combination of 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 some Cleveland kids and some Baylor team uh, kids and some Signal Mountain kids all on the Tennessee team. But which I, I also I just want to say something when we talk about like teams shut months. I just want to talk about. Their, their, their team scores in the championship side. Round of 32 against Diesel, 82-0. Against Buffalo Valley, 54-6. Against Tennessee Wrestling, 64-0. And now they're in the semifinals against Iron Horse. Good yeah. God. That, like, that team is no joke. That team is ridiculous. 
I, I'm trying to see if I could find like no, nah, it's not going to tell me. I wanted to see all their duels, and I'm not going and hunting through the pools for them. Oh no, it's crazy! Don't do it because it's just they're all over the place, and there's no way easy way to find it. You know, a, a, a thing that I would say to Flow Arena, like just tell us what pool they're in. I'll go find. I'll find the pool in that long list. But man, I have to go to pool A, pool B, pool C, pool Z, pool whatever. Like, no. Screw and it doesn't help that their high school pools are not in number order. They are in they're they in front a digit number order. So I'm going through and it went through 1, 11, 12, 13, 40, 50, <laughs> 19 to 2 to 20, 21, 20. Like, y'all, geez, can we please fix this? Um. The last last two that I have is Jackson Locke um, and David Hill. David Hill out of the state of Alabama, wrestling 106. Team Shop King Penguin. Um, they wrestled really, really well as well. So lot, uh, lots of names. Found them. So Shop Mutt started the weekend off 72 nil over Triumph Black, 78 nil over Cyclone, 65 nil over Quest School of Wrestling Black. Jesus. Like and, then, and then they had. Three, they had three matches yesterday before going to the the championship bracket today, but I Damn. would venture to guess it's the same sort of deal. Yeah, I would imagine similar score lines. Jesus, like what? All right, as we transition off of NHSCA duels, um, Scrappy wanted to go ahead and stir the pot a little bit, um, as I always do, and we thought, why don't we take every state championship dual team and put them in a bracket and see who would come out on top. And we're not going to get through all that today because right now we haven't even set up the bracket. So how many teams are there? There, if we are including just all public schools, so like to make, or not public, but this is your organizing bodies that are public. So no GSA, uh, no ski set for South Carolina. This no is like Lake G Highland today. Prep. Yep, no Lake Highland Prep. Uh, Tennessee Division Two is in. Okay. So we have 27 teams. This are we counting is Mississippi four. too? Mississippi's yep. in. Okay. Four from Bama, three from Florida, seven from Georgia. For God's sakes, one from Mississippi, four from North Carolina, three from South Carolina, four from Tennessee. 27 teams in total. It's gonna be a 32 team bracket. Um. What, what I'm thinking we're going to do is I'm going to run it through my matrix and then me and Jason will deliberate on if we agree with that opinion. Because, again, when we get to some of these other states, I agree that my matrix is less than perfect, even though, even though, hey, guys, I want you guys to go back and look at my state duels predictions. I was pretty accurate. I think I got like I think of these 27 teams that we talked about, I think I got almost 20 correct. Just saying, like y'all got mad at me. But every time I've done predictions. For states specifically for the postseason, I usually get them right. Let's throw that out there. But at any rate, all right. So, so we're gonna seed the top eight, and then we're gonna randomly draw in everyone else except for the five open spots, which will go to the top five teams as buys. Is that that makes sense, right? Yeah, yeah. But that's how I'd imagine it would make sense to do it. Um. All I right. almost feel like the best way to do this is going to be let's knock. Let, I think we need to separate the, the group of teams that we think are in the seated conversation. Okay. And for me, I look at Lake Gibson, obviously. Okay. I look at Dade. When it comes to Georgia, I look at Social Circle. I look at Camden. I look at South Effingham. Then we get to North Carolina. I'm a little out of my gourd, but I think Davie County at least deserves to be in the conversation. East side, Cleveland, Macaulay. How many teams did I just say? I counted nine. That that's my nine. Um, I think we should just real quick rattle through the teams because if I'm missing one, go ahead. In Alabama, Weaver, Scottsboro, Mountain Brook, Huntsville. I think Huntsville deserves to be considered. Okay, well we'll put Huntsville in the nod. Florida, Somerset, Gibson, Dade. I don't know how you don't include Somerset, but I mean, you can't include, I mean, I, no, maybe I, you can't include all three of them. So, oh, I don't no, know. I think we can. I think if they deserve to be in a conversation, we can. Georgia, Soul Circle, Rockmart, Lumpkin, Central Carroll, Cass, South Effingham, Camden. 
I'm good with the three you picked. <laughs> yep. Uh, Mississippi, Ocean Springs, shout out to them, but they're young. I don't, you know, North Carolina, Uwari Charter, Trinity, Eastern Guilford, Davie County. So Eastern Guilford's a tough team. I don't know them as much. Um, I probably wouldn't put them in the top eight. Um, I have a tendency to to give Davie County a, a, a nod, but yeah, but somebody out of North Carolina can, can disagree with us yeah. completely. Yeah, South Carolina, Chesney, West Oak, Eastside, Fort Mill. And I think that your team, obviously, out of South Carolina is Eastside. And then Tennessee, Soddy Daisy, Cleveland, Lakeway, Christian, McCollum. And again, I think you could make the argument for a Saudi Daisy, but um, honestly, I'm I'm good with Cleveland. Yep. And you know what's what, what? One of the things I want to make sure that we point out to everyone as we're having this conversation and trying to figure out the top eight seeds is this, and that is, you know, there might be a runner-up that is better than a state champion from another Absolutely. state or another classification. So that's not that's just not considered. I yeah, mean, it's Buford. Fun. Buford is maybe the second best team in the state of Georgia. It yeah. uh, doesn't matter. They're, they're it, not in this, they're and not in this we, bracket. And when we get to the individual side of this, because when I started this thought experiment, it was meant for the individuals. I was like, I want to see certain individuals. If we li line them up in a bracket, who wins? But NHSCA duels, instead of starting a weight class, I said, Let, let's do the duels first. So, we have 11 teams to, to get through for this top eight spots. Those are Huntsville, Somerset, Lake Gibson, South Dade, Social Circle, South Effingham, Camden County, Davie County, Eastside, Cleveland, Macaulay. Do we feel like there's a clear number one? I can, I can make an argument for three. I think there teams. are three teams. I think we have the same three in mind. Camden, Cleveland, South Dade. Completely agree. I think those are our top three seeds. Um, so, I want to. So, if we're going to throw this back out to everyone else, do you agree with those three? And if you do, what would be your order? Yeah. Your order. I'm going to give to the number one seed. In my opinion, goes to Cleveland because I look at their. If we look at their season, Cleveland won the knockout, and that to me is the best tournament win of uh, the best result of any of these teams is winning the knockout. I agree so with I, that. I have no problem with that at all. Um, and, then, and then I would go Cleveland. I would have Camden as the two date as the three. I have, I don't care about two and three. They're interchangeable. It was yeah. who was separated from those two teams. So that to me is fine. One, two, and three. We've got Cleveland, Camden and South Dade being three. I can hear all the South Day crew right now. I, I can hear the Titans. That is crazy. Keyboard. They put 10 in the finals, I think, for 3A in Florida. But you know what? It is what it is. That's where we stand. We're so, going to so, do those three. So then my, my reason for Camden is beating Buford. That yeah. Buford team, I'll put it to this. 27 teams on this list. I think that Buford team clears at least 20 of them. And then I think you can make the argument that Buford could very well beat a lot of these high level teams, whereas Dade, no disrespect to them, 3A in Florida. Well, I think Buford's the four seed if we're including them, but yeah, yeah, but yeah. we're not, so, but we're not yeah. including them, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> so, speaking of the four seed, who do we think is in the running for that four seed? I think Macaulay deserves a mention. Um, Lake Gibson and Somerset, I think, are in the mix for this. Um, I think this is where a team like a Huntsville might start kind of poking their head up like, hey. So I, I was told, and I don't know if this is true or not, but I was told that Huntsville went over to South Carolina for some duels. They dueled a couple teams in South Carolina. And just I test, the people in South Carolina thought that Eastside was much better than Huntsville. Um, whether that's true or not true, whether that's a bias, wh yeah. what, how, what, however you shake that out, I don't know. Um, I love the tradition of Eastside. Um, I do. I think I think they've got a great dual team. I have no problem putting them four. I, I, I'll go with 
I'm okay with East Side in that four or five argument. The only team I'd like to throw into that conversation ahead of them directly would be McCauley. Okay. And you know what? I have no problem with, again, four and five are interchangeable. Put one, four, one, five. And I can, and we'll I can hear Dave Mayholtz texting me now. I can hear it. So, <laughs> so now, now, now we get to, you know, now we're looking at the six seed. I feel like I have went long enough without mentioning my crew from the social circle. As I, a dual team, they, they have a win over Buford. We have to keep that in mind. They won the grappler duels beating Buford. Yeah, but that was a Buford team that didn't have so many Drew pieces. Gorman. They didn't have Drew Gorman. Max they have... was there. McCormick's were there. Who else wasn't? Oh, Trey Butler. Trey Butler was out that weekend, too. I think McCloskey was out that weekend. He might have. I th- he might have been. You might be right. But I-, I feel like I have to mention them here. I so feel I, like I, I, to- I don't have a problem with the mention. Um, I think we need to give a nod to a... a, t- a, a, a um. A uh, a group that doesn't get a whole lot of um, notice from the south from us in the S in the southeast yeah. because they're at the top, and that would be Davie County and and, you, and and the North Carolina crew. So yeah, I, I disagree with you. You do. I don't disagree with you. you I, don't disagree. I, I think yeah, I think that Davie for sure. I I think Davie should be seated. I don't know if I could stomach putting that. Yeah, I remember Somerset and Lake Gibson are staring me right in the face right now, too. Right. Like, do you think Lake Gibson or do you think Social Circle is better than Lake Gibson and Somerset in terms of duels? I'd be willing to say they're better than Gibson. Somerset is where I think it gets really dicey. I think them and Somerset, I think, have a duel because I think Somerset has a few more auto wins, but I think Social Circle is more likely to hang in in most in, in a lot of those other matches where I feel I just feel like. See, this is where my matrix is going to be really interesting to see because some of these teams stylistically, like the fact East Side and Cleveland, is, you know, you got Macaulay Cleveland as a four and a one. East Side, I think, matches up better with Cleveland than Macaulay does, but it's Ken Cleveland or Ken Macaulay or East Side for that matter. Can East Side get over Macaulay? Um, I think Did- matchups are going to play a huge thing here. Did Social Circle go up to the Cleveland Duels in December? I don't think they did. They might. Well, whoa, did they? Yeah, check fact check that. Um. Yeah. By the way, to the teams that aren't mentioned in the seeding, please understand that we are going to run these duels. I'm going to go to challenge.com. Shout out to challenge.com. Anytime I need to make a bracket, I go there. Um. I'm going to do it using. I'm going to do it on there, and. That, that, and I'm even going to – I might even post the link where people could follow the bracket. <laughs> We're going to get a lot of hate. <laughs> oh, I love it. No, it, no, I think that's awesome. I think that's the best. Uh, oh, you cast – you know, cast – cast is good too. All right, Social Circle – was really good. Social Circle lost to Summit out of Tennessee at Cleveland Duels. In December, my my thing with that is so circle does have of their starting lineup, like six of their guys do play football. Just saying. No, no, I, I'm just I feel like I, I've gotten my social circle out of me. It, we can we so, can so so social circle either has to be so for me, social circle either has to be the six or put them to eight. Because I don't want to put them the two in the same quarter as Camden. Okay, so you're also looking at separation. I I I I want them to be separated. I think we I so so then we we have to also understand. Well, yeah, I mean Macaulay and Cleveland are in separate quarters. Yeah, okay. I'm not mad at putting Social Circle as an eight and figuring out seven and six ahead of them. All right, put Social Circle as an eight. Social Circle is our eight seed. So now the seven and the six, we have five teams up for up for that. Huntsville, Somerset, Gibson, South Effingham, Davie. So the six, if we're looking at separation. Hang on, Hang on. say that again. Huntsville, Somerset, okay. Lake Gibson, South Effingham, Davie County. Davie County. Okay, Davie County. So I if we're looking, 
if we're looking to stay separated, the sixth seed should not be one of these Florida teams. I agree so with that. We're looking at Huntsville, South Effingham, or Davie. And to me, I'm going to go with Davie. I am too. So our sixth seed is Davie County, meaning our seventh seed has to be either Effingham, Huntsville, Somerset, or Gibson. Well, and, and if we're trying to separate from Camden. <laughs> oh, yeah, then it can't be Effingham. Which, it I can't mean, be Effingham. Um, I think I think that I'm good with with Gibson or Somerset. Um, I I don't know who's better between the two of them as far as a duel goes. I think Gibson gonna, might be better, but that's just me. I'm gonna. I was gonna say I'm. It's a lean to Gibson, but boy, is it a soft lean. It, All right. it, it, I'm hedging to Gibson. So in that. So if we we're good there, our top eight seeds in order, Cleveland is your one, Hamden is your two, South Dade is your three, Macaulay's your four, Eastside's your five, Davies your six, Gibson's the seven, and Social Circle rounds out the top eight. All right, I I'm good with that, and you know what we'll do? We will um uh before the next show which i don't know that i'm gonna be on next week it might be two weeks for me just just so you know um uh we will randomly assign everybody else what 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 i'll do is i will go on challenge and what i love about challenge is you can it it seeds every so, so there is no real random draw but what i can do is i can randomize the order and I'll look at it, and I'll place the top eight. I'll check the bracket, make sure no one's in the same quarter as their same state. Well, no. So so now the quarters probably won't matter because we're going to have – I mean, Georgia, you're going to have somebody in the same quarter. There's no way that's not going to happen. But, okay. well, but make sure – make sure no – Try to make sure that no first round matchups are the same state. That's what I'll do. I'll mainly just look at first round just to be sure that it doesn't break out that way. And then, by the way, just for the sake of easiness, I'm not going to leave the buys blank. I'm going to put a team called buy because the way challenge works, they're one of those brackets where sometimes they'll give the 11 seed a buy just because they feel like it. So I'm going to put buy so that it's a full 32 so that I could assign the, the bottom five to buys just to make life easy. I understand. Um, and by the way, real quick, everyone, we are assuming this is on neutral site. We are assuming – now, this is the question I have. Are we assuming teams at full health, or are we assuming them from their state finals lineup? Mm. That could change. Certain teams, that changes it. I think we go with full health. That's what I was thinking, too. Okay, I, I'm, we're in agreement there. Full health. Um. Like we Wait, said, the weights that they wrestled at their state tournament, though. Yes, I was going to say I agree with you there because the one thing I don't want to get into is well, we're going to get into it anyway. So what's going to happen is some team is going to get upset because of bad matchups, and their fan base is going to be, well, we wouldn't wrestle him there. We'd bought, and it'd be a whole thing. Oh, this is this this is just going to like uh, somebody already is going to be like what. Eastside, We're lighting the world. Eastside's the four seed. What are you crazy? Like that was Dave, not the one seed. I mean, this is just going to go crazy. But oh, we're you know lighting what? the world on fire, and I love this. This you is, know what? I, I live to see the world burn. This is just this is just for fun, and um, hopefully, it's fun to have the conversation. So those yeah. are the eight. If you agree, which you won't, tell us where okay. you disagree. <laughs> I was like, ain't no way, everyone. Someone's going to be mad that Social Circle's in that top eight, and I don't care. Uh, I don't care. Argue with Brick Wall. All right. So I'm off next week, um, but we will be back in two weeks. We will have the bracket. You know what? We'll post it up on the on the social media channels, up on the website once we get it set. Challenge, challenge works like where you could look at the brackets live. So I'll post a little link where people could look at it. All right. That sounds good. Um, all right, Scrappy. Man, take care, have a good week, and I will see you in a bit. Sounds good. See you.